Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I want to talk about something that I've purchased uh, from uh, Etsy online. This is not, I guess, from a designer brand per se, but um, I just like to, I guess, show a I just want to show you this item uh, because it is so impressive um, considering the price and um, and how it actually fits um, all that I was trying to um, look for um, in terms of a cushion cover i did talk about uh, i think i did not talk about in my previous uh, wish list video how i was eyeing a, um, a cushion cover uh, from hermes previously um, but i decided not to and instead i went looking for a leather cushion cover on etsy instead um, so a bit of background story about my family we do have um, quite severe uh, dust mite allergy especially with my young son um, so we actually avoid a lot of soft furnishing in um, in our house and um, my couch looks quite bare and I do want something that I can hug on to and so I went on to um, I went on a I guess journey you would say of trying to find a leather cushion cover um, Initially, I was thinking about the Hermes um, cashmere cover, but then I kind of thought, look, um, if I was to use that, I'll still need to do a lot of um, laundering, a lot of laundry, which I'm already doing a lot of for bed sheets and towels and things like that on you know a weekly basis. So I really don't want to add to my uh, laundry burden, if you would call it that way. Um, but I, I have been not very successful in trying to find a leather cushion cover in I guess um, any sort of major brands or anything like that but I managed to find this on Etsy um, the other leather cushion cover that I found is actually uh, on Farfetch by um, Brunello Cuccini and it is just so expensive that I kind of didn't want to buy it online. I know Farfetch can allow you to sort of easy returns and things like that, but given what's happened with Farfetch recently, I am a bit hesitant to make um, you know big item purchase um, at the moment on Farfetch, particularly when I'm not sure whether I need to, you know, sort of uh, whether I would like it or end up returning it. Um, so I think like the Brunello Cuccini leather cushion cover that I found on Farfetch was almost like 2000 Australian dollars. Um, so it is quite expensive and for such an expensive item, you know, if it's, if it, it's something that I could actually look at the physical sort of item in store, it, you know, I may, if, it, if I end up really liking it, I may buy it, but you know it is just yeah for a cushion cover especially when i still have young you know a young kid at home i just feel like it's a bit you know it's, it's probably not something that i can look after very well and you know with a young kid at home and i you know once i have it at home i know he will love to hug the cushion to jump on it you know to, to throw it around um, and I just you know I don't, I don't want to stop him from doing that but at the same time I think my heart will break um, seeing him do that to a $2,000 cushion cover um, so that's why I went on Etsy instead and found this um, it's a hundred percent calf leather and it is handmade uh, from a small rural town in Georgia I, the, the store name is uh, Hi, um, so you can 
can see how it's uh, embossed here on the corner and you can personalize it so that um, you can sort of ask them to put different um, initials or other messages on the cushion um, but I didn't personalize it because I just kind of you know I, I don't really like personalizing sort of furniture items at home um, and I just thought you know having the brand name there is it's quite nice anyway so I didn't really need to personalize it so Taya is the brand. So yeah, um, I have to say I am very impressed. Uh, look, the the calf leather is quite thick, um, and which is what I want in a cushion cover because then it is durable. Um, you know, you can throw it around, you can sit on it. You know, my son can jump on it and. You know, I'm, I'm confident that it will keep up and um, won't break. You know, the only feature that I guess is probably not as good as I hope it to be um, is just the sort of the sides. Um, I mean, it's quite nicely hand sewn. You can you can see all that, um, but it's just the side. I guess it doesn't really. They they haven't really sealed off the um, side edges, so it's not as looking as finished um, as I guess you know I would like it to be. You know, if it was from a designer brand, but look, to be honest, it's completely handmade. You know, the the price is very reasonable. Look, at the end of the day, I just you know wanted something functional, so I'm not too fussed about the side edges. I mean, you know, from a distance and up close you know at the front it just looks so you know so nice and, and since i've actually purchased this it's been sort of two three weeks the leather has really softened up when it initially comes packaged it's actually kind of you know the feeling doesn't come with it but it's completely flat and folded and when i unfolded the leather it Actually, initially, I was a bit worried that it's not going to be so comfortable because it does feel quite stiff um, and hard. But yeah, it's really quite, you know, as you can see here, it's really softened up with use quite quickly over the past two, three weeks. Now, what I am most impressed about is how they've actually done the um, closure for the um, cover. So you can see it's not, I think most cushion cover would just have, you know, a lot of the not so well, you know, sort of the cheaper versions or the not so well designed ones. They would just have a flap. They wouldn't actually have a zip up. Um, but this one, you can see here, is actually got a zipper inside. And you know, it's a, quite a nice, easy to zip um, zipper. So it keeps the content in. I've actually just purchased a, um, you know, a normal polyester cushion um, from a local supermarket store, um, and I've actually got a, a, a special dust mite cover um, to protect the filling, so that you know dust mite won't be able to go in and won't be able to come out. If it happened to, you know, have already had some dust mites during the manufacturing of the cushion filling, um, and then with the zipper, I feel quite safe um, that it's not going to give my son allergic reactions, and it's going to make his, it's not going to make his skin itchy. It's all very well protected and zipped up. Um, so yeah, so check up. I'll leave the um, site. Um, details down in the pop comments uh, below. Uh, this is not sponsored. I purchased this uh, with my own money. They, you know, not affiliated with the store in any way. It is just, you know, a good find um, that I wanted to share with you. And, you know, the whole process of ordering is so easy. Um, you know, customer service was great because they initially 
um, you know, the way I kind of filled out the form, I filled it wrongly, and so they, you know, contacted me straight away to make sure, you know, they understood correctly what I wanted um, on the order, you know, whether I wanted any personalization or what not, because I actually put my phone number, it's a bit silly, I put my phone number into the personalization box. So they thought, oh, it's a bit odd that someone would want to emboss you know a series of digits um so they yeah no they they checked with me and make sure is you know is this really what i wanted so i was able to then let them know i'm really sorry i kind of you know put it in the wrong place um so yeah i think you know really uh, i would say attention to detail and i could actually feel that you know the they've actually made this with love um you know the whole um shop i i get the sense that it's you know a small family run business and that they really take pride into the work that they do um so yeah you know how you just get these feelings like you know when you buy things that it's it's like it feels like you know the the product is made with care and love that they really want to, you know, each of the customer to enjoy what they've ordered. I just get that feeling from this store. Um, yeah, so really, really impressed with this. I might actually end up um, ordering an extra one. Yeah, I might actually do that a bit later just to have, have the uh, sort of two of them side by side because at the moment, me and my son are sort of fighting over the use of this. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a different uh, product review today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I will include some mod shots of how this looks against my um, couch at home um, so that you can get a better sense of how it looks um, on display. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing on my channel. I uh, review my luxury purchases or sort of any items that I feel is um, of great quality that you may be interested. In. And I want to really um, influence people into buying luxury in a more mindful way. Um, I think we all enjoy little luxuries in life if we could afford it. Buying beautiful items, using beautiful items, um, but doing so in a mindful way and really, I guess, by good quality. Um, but less is, uh, I guess, the focus of the channel. So if this is what appeals to you as well, um, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.